Hey guys, I'm Rosalvain, and welcome back to another episode of Alan Wake. Where we last left off was that, uh, yeah, so in Alan Wake, we've basically started the whole game. Um, so far, we've lost our wife to some random dark creatures and stuff. Um, and yeah, we woke up in a little car crash, uh, which messed up our van that we brought from somewhere far, I guess, I, 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 I would say. And then, of course, some old mysterious lady literally gave us the keys to this cabin that ended up uh ended up being like so far into like this lake it's like it's in the center of the lake and the only thing connecting it to the world is basically a bridge that we walked across um and stuff like that so like a lot of things happened literally in the last episode um i would recommend anybody who actually would want to know the story fully to just sit there and watch the first episode because it's it's freaking large like it's large world building but also chi trying to in like invite us into the thing and i forgot to bring my book out for the for this game maybe in the next episode definitely in the next episode i'll bring out the book that i was talking about in the last episode uh the, the little uh, chapter by chapter book uh and maybe my xbox 360 version of the alan wake at the very least but yeah let's get into it right now um i'll just continue playing for now we are trying to head to the gas station because that was the only place that had Lighting, I guess that's some sort of the way. I don't know if this is the same exact location from the last episode. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Oh yeah, I forgot to focus. Sometimes I forget to focus. So, or every now and then I might forget to focus onto the thing because I don't know if when he's talking is like focusing on, on in on the thing. But yeah, anyways, let's keep going. Yeah, so this game is pretty old at this point, but in the same time, I really, really loved uh, the style and everything of Alan Wake back then when I was, uh, I guess I was a teen when I first played this. Like, I was entering high school for the first time, or something like that. Or maybe it was my second year of high school. Right, it dates me at least. At least it dates my time of being a younger person. Well, I'm still young, but I mean, still younger, younger, younger person. Um. Yeah, I think there's nothing out here. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Caution! <laughs> there's a caution sign there. Oh man, this is really cool. Oh wait, let me. There we go. I want to do the left side because I'm not used to using it on the right side. I'm not a big fan of the the right side camera or the the character being on the right side being the camera thing. Ow! Who there? Who there? there? Yeah. <laughs> Please, I've been in an accident. Man, this is still such a very interesting concept. Still, like the the way that they chose to make light as an. Hey. End. Oh. Hey, you. Fail. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need two premium cabins for rent in Nightfall. Oh hell, Carl <laughs> oh, hell. Stucky. Please. Oh, it is Carl. Non-refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. I didn't get to check the other part of the area out, so. Yeah, I didn't get to see if there was anything over here. It literally forced me into the cutscene for like a quick second there, so... I didn't have a chance to check out if there's anything over here. Is there anything over here? I'm kind of curious still, nonetheless. I mean, there's... Oh, dear. <laughs> I was about to fall off there because of the side of the cliff is like so steep looking. Alright, let's head back over there. Sorry about that. I wanted to see what the hell the other side had to offer if there was any, any sort of thing. So, we need a flashlight immediately soon, hopefully. Oh man, rip this guy. I don't know who this guy is. Okay, well he's still telling his name like crazy. F5? F5. I keep forgetting that that F5 is a thing there. Oh, select the center. The stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it. As if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. 
I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. All right, taken by the light already. Oh dear. I was gonna walk through there for a second there. There's a thermos and I'll take that first. I thought that log over there was like a head of somebody for some reason, but the perspective just made me think that way for some reason. <laughs> well, at least that's that. I, it's sad that I'm gonna be, miss out another note because I need to go to a higher difficulty to kind of get the last or the other few notes that are missing from the game for me. What's over here though? Death, I'm guessing? Okay, cool. I'm seeing death down there. Definitely. But yeah, otherwise, it's just so... It's just so, like, mesmerizing how, uh, how atmospheric this game is in terms of horror and, uh, sort of like a mystery thriller kind of thing going on. Oh. Oh. It's the latest Oh, jeez. You miss. Two, and I'm gonna have to avoid two this. Two birds? Incontestably fruits. Alan was saying something, but it got blocked off somehow. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. <laughs> References. Oh, so immediately we got... The flashlight and pistol back again. My goodness. Also, he... Although he has a reference to the thing, why the hell is Energizer one of the batteries? <laughs> I just love how the Energizer batteries are the logo we get to see for the, During your the thing. Trying. It's the latest thing. Incontestably... Proven health benefits oh. let you kill two birds with one stone. You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol levels down at the same time. Man, that guy is good at acting as like the the, the voice reading is like fantastic. Let me move my face cam down a little bit. Oh yeah, you guys can now see the scene page. I had to move it down. Um, oh, and also, yeah, due to a an update, I, f I was forced into uh, using desktop capture versus having to do, um, instead of doing, yeah. I, I, wanted, I, I forgot to move the face cam before I started the episode. Excuse me for that. But yeah, overall, uh, yeah, I, I can do the game capture for the time being. I'm going to probably be able to do that in... A later episode but hopefully that wouldn't affect me too much further than that um but yeah i needed to move my face cam because it was blocking the ammo count uh i don't really know what is the perfect place for my camera still but maybe it might be the top left where under the objective thing but i don't know yes oh, bright fall sheriff station oh may I oh hello hello Oh, come on, Carl. Took out the power lines and the cable lines of the telephone. This is bad. Oh, no, he has the whole thing coming in. Come on. Oh, dear. He's pushing the... Oh, dear. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I can't even get out. What the heck? Oh, there it is. Now I can get out. I love how it's just... They put an invisible wall by the doorway just to like hold me in for a little bit before I can actually get out of there. That's an incredible way of doing that. I love that. That's a very cool action. Uh, the action bulldozer thing. had gone over the cliff with the office. I hoped Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. <laughs> I'm like very fascinated in the action moment there, like the little like cinematic moment there. That was really cool. Though it's difficult, nonetheless, to handle that, usually. Really? Really? Hi, whoever you are. Yeah, back then I didn't really force myself to, like, 
use like the focus as much, like force. No, no, don't you dare. There we go. My head pounded with a concussion. I never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Alrighty. Oh yeah, I forgot. These are really cool too. Like if you don't look at the uh if you didn't shine a light to them, it's just like really cool. I think the way they did it was sort of like uh I'm trying to see. It does kind of flicker a little bit. I'm kind of curious how they made that. It's kind of curious for me, at the very least. But I'm assuming that it's due to the fact that, um... Ah, uh, it's like collision, probably. It's like, like some kind of collider that's causing it to, like... Like, if it's within the cone of the light, then the object would reveal itself. But the difficult part of it is that it needs to make sure that it's visible at the same time like it has to be very visible to uh to a certain degree of that cone so that's the curious thing i'm kind of curious about where how they would make it make that work for the game in general oh that's just a light little sliver of light in the area all right let me sit more appropriately because my legs are getting a little bit strange from or getting numb for myself I'm wondering if these things are telling me Very about... hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Okay, I wasn't sure who would be responsible for doing that, but... At least we got a flare. Um, I will use the flare only if it's, like, an emergency. Like, there's a lot of problems going in it. <laughs> like, I ran out of ammo, or I, uh... Either I ran out of ammo, or I just had, like... I had to get through things very quickly. I love how it says kick. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. I think that's... Oh, I see. The light would be... Ah, okay. I forgot about the light thing. Okay, so we need to... Is there anything over here? That's the question. Like, is there any thermos around here? I'm not too worried about the notes because the notes do often... I think earlier on the notes seems to be easy to get to, but otherwise they wouldn't go beyond their time, I guess, of whatever. I'm guessing, yeah, we're in the checkpoint here so far. But I think the thermos are much more trickier because of the fact that they are rare items. Or... Oh, jeez. <laughs> the freaking music ambiance thing. Oh, oh, dear. That was a close one. There we go. I missed one shot. Every bullet is a very important bullet to keep. Batteries. I forget how how, how much battery I usually save. I, I was very efficient in terms of saving my batteries because I really just didn't really boost too much. Like, I'm never usually boosting my... Uh... I never boost with my flash flashlight, so I usually just like get as much as I can out of it. Man, that is some old school stuff. Okay, so let's see what manuscript this is. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it just skips the whole entire section of this. Did I miss, I think this is the scary part. It's like, did I miss all five of these in the last like few minutes here? <laughs> it's just the sad thing of being like, Rose not certain. Knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Huh. Interesting. Rose is a bit... Is a bit of a homewrecker, maybe? She might be wanting to be one. I don't know. I'm not saying she is, but I'm saying she sounds like she was... She was jealous in the relationship that Alice and... Alan has like their husband and wife. What else you expect? Come on, don't don't be jealous. You, you can find somebody. I'm pretty sure. All right, another checkpoint here. Oof. Oh, oh dear, that flashback scares me every time again. 
What do you want, monsters? What the hell was that? There's a bridge over there, it looks like. Man, playing this on the PC is so different from me playing on my consoles. I remember playing this on the console where everything was like a little bit thumbed down. Actually, I was playing in a small little screen. Actually, I, I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think I can s show you guys in terms of the size of the screen. But if anything, the screen was very small, and I wasn't playing on keyboard and mouse. I was playing on controller, so it's like the Xbox 360 version was like a lot. When more. I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. <laughs> Scared much? You know what's also really cool is the level design. Like, although it's like to the side of the cliffs a lot of the time, it still has that points in time where you're always knowing where you're where you're at in the world, objective-wise. Because when you started, you, when you started in this like particular part of the game, you're at the top of the cliff. And you're overseeing the, uh, the the gas station. It's really cool. And then you start like walking around the corners, and you still see the gas stations like bright red neon lights from afar. And it's really cool and fascinating to see that sort of like uh, thing. And that's really that's really something that I really appreciate. I I sometimes don't do it in the stuff I've made, but I really do try my best to get that kind of thing uh, kind of told out or at least shown out in the game. Um, and it's one of those things that I've learned from or cursed, like always constantly try to think about when designing levels for myself or for things that I'm working on. Um, though it's not easy due to the fact that um, it may like change every now and then when you're trying to work on the same level, the same exact same space over and over again. So you might lose that, that particular uh, feeling or that particular intent. But obviously, over time, you need to just get used to it, I guess. Or that's what I need to get used to, really, when working on those kind of things. Um, let's get through this area here. I think that's where we need to go. I'm seeing logs here and there, so I'm assuming these logs have something to do with climbing across the places, but I'm not entirely certain. Okay, this looks like a pathway to the other side. This looks like just a pathway, particularly for an object or a secret thing. Not really a secret, but like collectible, I guess. Alright, let's see what this has to say. What note is this? Barry's arrival. So we're going to be expecting to see Barry, isn't it? Because there's a literal note for that. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon. But Barry didn't buy it. <laughs> Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake. And he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. I love how Barry has like that instinct as a publisher. Or as a uh, publicist, I guess I'd call it. Like he's trying to make sure Alan is all like safe and sound. But also sane. Oh. Okay, you guys are scaring me like crazy. Stop it. It's just these ambiance, like, with the violins and everything that always throws me off when they're trying to come after me. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Makes sense. I mean, how can enemies not stalk you while they're trying their best to get rid of you in some capacity. I think what really gets me is just the sound effects or the music that comes and plays. Though it's a shame that I can't, like, do the music just because I'm scared that the, uh, the copyright system might pick it up and everything. Um, I mean, I won't contest with the music. I mean, they are just, if the copyright happens, they happens. Plus, I'm not making any money off of this, and I'm not trying to. Uh, I'm just doing what I'm doing, which is just playing games and just enjoying them as I can. Though again, like, I have a debate with trying to play music or leave music on one of the games. But I'm just worried that the content holders, or the copyright holders... I mean, get to see your face, you bastards! Okay. Oh jeez, come on, I wasn't even ready. Freaking ridiculous, dude. Just like, I wasn't even ready, and he just, like, aimed at me. Alright, well, hopefully we'll find a sort of, like, 
light source so we can heal up because that's what they said last time. Never mind, it looks like I already healed. <laughs> yeah, it, I guess that's the easy part of this game is that you don't really need to worry too much about losing too much health quickly. And I think it's kind of like a... Uh, kind of like a tactic, maybe, I'd rather say. Like, it's like a tactic sort of game where it's like you need to focus on trying to survive versus having to worry about the long run of your health. Like, you don't have to think about your health, like, all the way through and through to the very end of the... Like, you only need to worry about the health at the end of the combat versus having it at the start of the combat. Because the start of the combat, it looks like it's system systemically de uh, designed to make sure that you're worried about fighting versus, versus having to worry about your current situation or your current... I forgot what this sign is. I think this sign represents, like... Like, uh, there we go. It represents, like, there's a starting point, maybe? Like, a starting point to hunting for whatever this person's telling me to go to. Let me check this area anyways, just in case. Thermos and Nodes are definitely my number one go-tos right now. Um, and I technically want to check every nook and cranny as I can here. Yeah, it looks like it wants me to climb up. I hear breathing, so I'm just, like, worried that something stupid's gonna show up somehow. Okay, so we have to go up there. Yeah, we have to go up to this, uh, this area. But yeah, just revisiting this game has really, like... I feel like it's opening my eyes to some things I'm not noticing much about. Um, and I'm really appreciating it so far. Okay, we found a chest again. Lithium batteries. I mean, I have so much batteries now. I don't know what the limit is, but I'm... My assumption is that my battery will freaking be... Oh, there's nothing up there. I was wondering if there's anything... Important up on the... Up on the, uh... Rooftops or sort... Of sorts. What does it say? Taken. They're taken. The taken are filled with darkness. So, they're calling the... So they're calling those guys with the shadow effects uh, the Taken. Because they're taken away by the darkness, which makes sense, I guess, at the very least. I like how they just fill us in with the stories, like, or not the story, but like the idea of what these guys are all about. Or what the uh, monsters are all about. Yeah, this is a little tricky because you see this and you're like, do I... Oh, I see. I had to go all the way over there. But in, in general, that's how it is, I guess. Like, they just try to make you go that way. Or figure out that that's the way you want to go for, like, supplies and such. Though, again, I'm not struggling. Because it's not too bad so far. From what I'm seeing. Thermos? Notes? Somebody? Something? I do hear some glimmering sound effects somewhere for... There's nothing there. I'm sorry I'm not speaking. I'm just trying the to figure out. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. I just need to figure out what the hell I'm like looking for here still. Like I'm trying to figure out if there's collectibles to look for here. I couldn't stay here. There had to be a way to get up there. More ammo. I'm out of lithium needing. Can I at least get the ammo ammunitions at least? Oh no, I can't even pick up the ammunitions anymore because... Oh, they're... Oh, am I really out of... Oh my god, I maxed out my... So 20 is the amount of batteries I can hold. The stairs were useless. I had to find something else to help me climb up there. Maybe that thing? Yeah, because I see them floating all around. What's really cool too as well is that this whole lumber yard is just reminding me a little bit of Silent Hill, which I have not played in on this channel before, so... It will be quite the trip when I try to get into Silent Hill in this channel, if I ever do. But yeah, I think that's one of the thing. One of the things about this game is that it kind of throws those Silent Hill vibes. Even though at the time, I think Silent Hill was starting to window in terms of like releasing any sort of thing. I think Downpour was like three years after this game came out, uh, after the, this game like got released. Like, 2013 was when Downpour, I think, came out, and that was, like, the last Silent Hill. 
the last big Silent Hill entry uh, that was left over. But sadly enough, I can't With even get access to. all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Yeah. And sadly, there's no more Silent Hill after after that whole installment of Downpour because Downpour wasn't really that great uh, to some people um, or to critics, I guess. Critically acclaimed, not really. Um, at the same time, I'm thinking that maybe Konami didn't see any sales into the Silent Hills franchise anymore, so then they just hard shut down the thing, or they just allowed it to like, oh dear, that guy just threw that freaking axe like it was nothing. Oh, ah, god dang it. Ah, damn it, god dang it. Oh god. Go. At least get one of them out of the way. There we go. Yeah, I need to make sure that I was being less bothered by the... Uh... I needed to be very cautious in terms of looking for... Uh... Or using the ammo when I needed to. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Alright, at least I got the battery and ammo I need back well the battery was or the ammunition was what i really needed the most but the battery was in the way anyway so might as well yeah when it, there's a limit to when i need to use uh the boosting on the flashlights and that usually ends up being With all this forestry equipment around there had to be something i could use to reach the top yeah when the limit of me using the boosting is usually because of the amount of enemies there is so it's really a lot of the time I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Uh-huh. So I'm guessing it's just... This is like the reference to those, like, the crows that just showed up on us on in the island. Yeah, because last episode, near the end of the last episode, there was a like, crows attacking us. Oh, shotgun! Oh, thank goodness we got a shotgun for once. Holy heck. But I'm gonna stick with my pistol for now because that's the one with the most ammunitions. Pretty nice that we got a shotgun. I'm guessing that, if I recall, the shotgun takes a bit more beefy damage onto the enemies, the Taken. So they shouldn't be too much. Oh, it's this thing again. Okay. Ready. That should turn that thing on, right? Oh no, I feel like there's gonna be enemies coming after us here after doing that. Why do I feel like enemies are gonna come out of the blue here just because they see the thing? Oh my goodness, I'm just being silent because I'm just feeling just the scariness of everything here. I know there's light there, so let's... Oh yeah, this thing is. What's this? I'm guessing that's where it should be at. I mean... Yeah, I guess. I mean, it looks pretty, pretty much cracked, right? I mean, I didn't realize there was a ladder here either, so it's really nice that the design of the level for that was pretty convenient because I didn't, I didn't see the ladder here when I was walking by here. I was just being bothered by everything else, I guess. Oh, no. This thing is very tippity-tappity. Woo. Oh, not glad, <laughs> glad nothing happened there. All right, let's see. Is there anything else here that I need to grab? I want to knock this thing down, but I can't. Oh, no, no, not, not that. I want to knock the freaking cans, but I, I don't know if this is a... Uh, here we go. I don't want to waste my ammo, <laughs> at least, to just, just knock down the, those cans. Those stacked up cans. Re uh, checkpoint reached, which is good. Alright, I think this could be a good spot to end the episode. Yeah, because there's a lot more to this, I think. 
Yeah, there's a checkpoint again. I won't pick that up until the next episode for sure. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode of the Minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We're going to one for watching this. I am taking, of course, 30-minute runs through each episode. Uh, but I think that this at this point, I don't know what the next checkpoint or when the next checkpoint is going to be at. So I'm just doing the end of the episode now so that uh, I don't run the risk of taking this episode further than the 40-minute uh, mark that I usually don't like hitting. I don't I don't mind hitting 40 minutes every now and then, but I just don't want to get hit by the 40 minutes uh, every um, every episode further onwards. But I want to at least hit a certain degree to the episode for length of uh, at least 30 minutes-ish. Um, it could like go into the 30 minute marker and I wouldn't mind that at all. But anyways, um, thank you guys for watching again. Uh, next episode we'll continue walking through the areas of this forest to hopefully get to the gas station. We probably are we are probably getting closer to the end of episode one of this game. Um, so we're gonna probably see what's gonna happen in the end of the episode soon. Um, otherwise, we're pretty much finding all the thermos and manuscripts that I feel like we are finding. Uh, for the game, which is great. But otherwise, we'll figure out what the hell happened to Alice and or what's going to happen next after getting out of this forest because we... Apparently, there might be a particular assumption by the people that I have might have murdered some people because of the fact that the Takens literally are people who've been literally been taken by the darkness and they're trying to attack us and try to kill us. Like, it's either us or them, so... I can't really say for the matter at the very least for what the what the story is going to bring in. But otherwise, we'll see what happens then. Otherwise, that's it for me in this episode. So, Roz, out.